Yes, mariners suffer too. Yes, there are moments in life the mariners suffer too. Things don't come that easy. Welcome to Eye of Ancestors Kingdom. It's me, your queen, Danaya Sankofa in your area. How are you doing, family? I hope all is well with you on your awakening journey and all is blessed. Welcome. So um, there's a question that came in that, uh, Nana, when I started my journey, I, where I went, they were telling me that from now, everything is going to be okay. Um, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. But I'm not seeing any difference. Nothing has come to pass. <laughs> All right. Let's dive. Let's dive deep. So uh, when that person or that place, maybe I don't, I don't know, uh, you didn't write anything further, like whether you went for a divination or whatever, and they told you all that. When you did and they told you that, you see, no one, it's not only for the mariners, no one in this world actually need to suffer. No one. Mm -hmm. What are you doing as a mariner? When you got that message, what were you thinking? That from now, things will just be falling from heaven or will be coming straight for the, from the water to you and you don't have to do anything. You wake up in the morning and um, money will just be on, the, on your bed or I don't know what you were thinking. You need to do your part too. There is something that you too, you need to do. As a water child, being a water child doesn't mean that you are going to have things just easily like that. No. You still need to do your rituals. You still need to meditate. You still need to do your offering. You still have to do your appeasement. There are a lot of things that still you need to do. You still need discipline. So when I talk about all this, as a water child or as a marina, where are you right now? What do you do? The way that you eat, do you eat everything that you come across? Do you allow every person in your space? Do you wake up in the midnight to meditate? Do you go to the ocean or do you go to the riverside? Do you do your water rituals? Do you do your earth rituals? Are you in alignment with your water family? Who is your deity? Which days do you call on him? What are the, the, uh, uh, um, um, the colors that your deities want you to use? There are a lot of things that you need to do. So when you tell me that you went somewhere and they told you that, that this is going to happen and you are just waiting. No. You see, um, there is this saying that I love. Like uh, when you were born as a poor person, that one is not your fault. But when you remain poor, that is your problem. So you went to that place and they told you that things are going to be easy for you or you are going to get this, you are going to get that. What did you do about it? You have been waiting. You have just been waiting. Doing nothing. Or someone, someone will tell you that I, uh, um, I'm getting old, I want to have a child. Yeah? So they will go to the riverside, go and do something. Someone will tell them that, go, they, uh, he said, what did she say? He said she went to one Baba, but Baba told them, say, make it go to, uh, 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 to the water bodies and go and do some rituals, bring some, uh, some things there, some fruits and whatever. They like this, a uh, uh, plastic baby and all those things there. And uh, since then she has been waiting and nothing is happening. My spirit just told me to ask her that, Madam, please, are you married? She said, no. Do you have a boyfriend? She said, no. A fiance? She said, no. People, 
Where are we going with this? So you just went to Baba. Baba gave you, um, uh, told you to go and do those rituals. And you went to go and do it whilst you know that you don't have a boyfriend, that you don't have, uh, you don't have a husband, you don't have a man in your life. So how do you want that pregnancy to happen? Abby, you'll be married. On a Jesus, now you won't born. How do you want things to happen? There are some times, there are some things that sometimes I say that we still need, you have to use your brain. Common sense is still needed in spirituality. People just think ah, abracadabra and then things will just happen like that. That's all. No. What do you need to do? It was not for you to go to the river and start, oh, eh, mommy wanted to give uh, uh, Peking them. So uh, I will go there to go and ask. Yemaya, they give Peking. Mama Oshun, they give Peking. So you want to go there. Ah, uh, Oloku, they give Peking. So you won't go ask. Whilst you yourself, you know that you don't have a partner. So how do you want that pregnancy to happen? You want to start the fuck around. So that it will happen for you. That one too, not dirty. Because mommy water don't like dirty. Yeah, my don't like dirty. All of them don't like dirty. Actually, to say it straightforward, all the marine spirits, hmm, the water spirits, they don't like dirtiness. And when I say dirtiness, I'm not saying that maybe uh, dirty things and I'm uh, talking about bad, bad things. Like say, you know, say you don't have man. But you go to Baba, Tell Baba, say, you want Piki, you want a child. Baba will give you rituals, say, go do. After that rituals like this, now, now they come start, they look for man. So any man now you go see, you go, right? You go like make the bunk you. So you go get pregnant. That one is not good now. So what I'm talking about, to cut everything short, is like, you being a water child, you being a marina, doesn't mean that things will just fall easily for you. When you were told that being a marina, you are going to be rich, you are going to have this, you are going to have that. Yes, it's true, but you have to do your part. And your part is to find out who you are, your purpose, your mission. Hmm? You surrender everything and you gain everything. Hmm? Before you get to that bountifulness, the bountiness, you need to lose everything. Sometimes even to lose your own self. To die about the things happening in the matrix. And concentrate on your journey. Concentrate on your spirit family. Sometimes even to leave your earthly family behind. Turn your back on them. Because of acceptance. Yes, they were used for you to come to this world to have your human experience. But now, being on this spiritual journey, knowing who you are. By now, you know your real family. You know where you belong. That is why they call you the black sheep of your family. Everybody is calling you the black sheep of the family. It's only you who don't want to accept it and still you want to fit in there. What a child. Wake up. It's time for you to wake up. You can never fit in. Because you didn't come here to fit in. Create your own world. We are many. You are not alone. Step by step, you will reach your goal. You will become your best version. So I'll stop here by saying much love from me, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area, on Eye of Ancestors Kingdom here on YouTube and on Facebook. I wish you the best. Don't give up on your journey. Everything is going to be all right. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Peace.